Hello everyone, this is Yuri. Um, this is going to be part of the tutorial to make uh, to port your Train Some World mods from 4.23 to 4.26 for the upcoming uh, Rush Hour update. So I'm going to show you my personal method. If you find a better method, let me know, but this is the way that I uh, personally do it. So first things first, I do have my project here. This is a port, so this is my project where I convert all of my stuff from 4.23 to 4.26. So, I don't use the pack option here like a lot of people do. I use a strange way of doing it. I go to saved, cooked, Windows no editor, your Mega Converter, plugins, actually not plugins, content, and I have a bunch of subfolders. This is not really the way that Muff would recommend you would do it, but this is the way that I do it and it works for me. So, let's just say, for example, just for the sake of argument, I'll take my stealth GE. So I'll take all these files, and I'll go over to my compile area. This is what I've made using Unreal Pack. This is the Unreal Pack. Uh, this one don't use, but this is just my work area. So I have a file list, or a stupid, what I call stupid response file. You will need this. This has this path that tells me where my compile area is. This folder right here, the compile zone, this will not be rendered when you compile things. This one gets ignored and this becomes the top folder which allows you to cook it properly. Unlike U4Pack where you would start using this folder, you create a, a folder above that and that folder just doesn't get read. So I'll show how to do this. So I have my copy of Unreal Engine 4.26 right here. So I'm going to go into the folder, engine, binaries, Win64, and then, for my personal sake, you can use command prompt, but I don't use it. What I personally do is I right-click into the, I hold sh down shift, right-click into this area, and I open a PowerShell window. And we'll just leave that there for now. So the next thing I would do is I wanted to compile this, just for the sake of testing. We'll just put this... Just delete these two. I'll paste my cooked files in there. Well, if I can copy them. But for the sake of it, I have files right here. Just, just for the sake, these we'll just use these as an example. We'll bring this back. So I have a compile here. So we'll go over back to the compile zone. And so, I have a command, which I'll run out here, and this is a very long one, so I'll try and space it out. This uses dot slash, which you're going to you need to use to open power, Unreal Pack. So I opened that from this Unreal directory here. And I have my actual path to where I want my pack file generated. Then dash create equals, and then I have the path to where my response file is. And in my case, I also added the command line compress. So I'll show how that works, and it does take a bit of time. So in this case, let's make this and we'll use 426, this is an example. So I'll hit enter on this. It will take some time, and I'll leave this window open here so you can see it being built. As you can see, it has uh, compiled it right here, and it found all the files. It's been creating a pack file, and you'll see that it has been created right here. And in this case, the compression summary, this is now 42.65% of the original size. And then from there, you'll simply just take your mod, and in my case, I will open it up. I have a shortcut for it. If you just have the base Epic Games version, you will have to generate this DLC folder. For those who don't know how to install this, find your Train Simul 2 folder, TS2 prototype, content, and right here, if there isn't a DLC folder, generate one. Paste your mod in, and it'll be good to go. So that's my tutorial, and I hope it helps you all out, and uh, happy converting. Good luck.